Police have released body-worn camera video of the moments that led up to the death of 20-year-old Karan Hilton Brown. His death has sparked violent protests in the district. The video is from two of the officers involved in this encounter last week. As News 4's Mark Seagraves report, it appears those officers may have violated at least two police policies during the chase that turned deadly. This is the body-worn camera video released by police today. It shows the end of the pursuit when Karan Hilton Brown, driving the scooter, collides with a passenger car as he comes out of an alley. Hilton Brown was not wearing a helmet. He died of his injuries. As the officers exit their car, you can hear one of them call Karan by name. Today, Chief Peter Newsham said the four officers inside that police car that was pursuing Hilton Brown have been placed on leave, and the incident is under investigation by the U.S. attorney. Newsham was clear. D.C. police are not allowed to chase any car or motorcycle for just a traffic stop, which is what a police press release listed as the reason for the chase. Newsham said there were no reported crimes in that area at the time of the chase that would have justified a pursuit. We don't know why the officers were trying to make an attempt of a stop in that particular case. There's also questions about when the officers activated their body-worn cameras. Newsham said they're required to activate them once the pursuit started. But video obtained by News 4 shows the pursuit began on the street before the body-worn cameras were activated once they turned into the alley. We are not going to tolerate our police officers conducting interactions with the public and intentionally not turning on their body-worn cameras. That is just not going to be tolerated. Mayor Bowser identified the driver of the police car as Officer Terrence Sutton. The death of Hilton Brown has led to two nights of protests and confrontations with police outside of the 4th District headquarters. At times, those confrontations turned violent. Eight officers were injured as a result of being struck by an explosive incendiary device. Uh, one of those eight was admitted to the hospital. Four officers were injured uh, as uh, they were struck by either rocks or bricks. The federal investigation into the pursuit of Hilton Brown that led to his death could take weeks to complete. In the district, Mark Seagraves, News 4. Now, the officers involved in that pursuit have not given statements to police about what happened. Once the federal investigation is completed, D.C. Police Internal Affairs will launch their own investigation as well. Chief Newsham says if they violated police policy, they could be fired.